Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV, Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. Now, Charlemagne just gave Donkey the day to a butt eater. Uh, bottom feeder. Uh, but more importantly, her name is Taryn Manning. She's an accomplice to adultery. Uh, she admitted that she was out here cheating with a married man and she was, you know, uh, performing analingus, analingus on the man and uh, was about to buy the man a boat. So it made me think, should side chicks get beat up? Because my homegirl, AJ, from the We Talk Back podcast, she says that side chicks should get beat up. If you know you're sleeping with another man's husband or boyfriend, then you are an accomplice to adultery. And it takes two to cheat, so you're just as guilty as the man. So she feels like side chicks should get beat up. Now, should the man get beat up as well? well, well not, that's not the question. Well, stitches, what do you think? Should well, side chicks get beat up? Th- this is Stitches, uh, co-hosting today, 103.5 The Beat. Um, I'm going to say uh, yes, mm-hmm. because like we said, it takes two to tango. Don't know why I'm talking like this, but it just makes sense. Mm-hmm. If we're going to go after the side, I prefer no violence, you know. Okay. I got to say that because I work with kids. But if we're going to go after the side chick, mm-hmm. If it takes two to tango, then you got to go but for the other the, the tango. There's, there's variables though, right? Because sometimes there's side three. chicks, like like lady just hit me on things. She said she was a side chick. She ain't know she was a side chick. What happened if a side chick don't know she a side chick? Well, I specifically said that AJ said that the side chick should get beat up if you know oh, okay. you sleeping with another man's husband. You wasn't clear. Or boyfriend. I okay. was clear. You wasn't yeah. listening. You're right. I wasn't listening. Well, mm-hmm. I- I wouldn't want nobody to. I, I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna default to what you said. Okay. If you're not happy with somebody, just let them go. Mm-hmm. Just leave them. But also, you're Haitian. But right. <laughs> what that mean? What, what that mean? You Where buried, you going? Have you ever buried Where a you going, bone Shark Man? Because we done resolved this yesterday. But it looked like you're hashing <laughs> back you, old you things. You say you don't like violence, but have you ever buried a chicken bone Uh-oh. on behalf, eh, eh, sir? Eh, eh. Somebody. Oh, have you ever? Oh, have, oh, you ever oh, oh, have you ever? Oh, written, oh, oh, written, oh, oh. Have you ever written somebody's name no, on a chicken bone? We don't do that. Everybody doesn't do that. Okay. Okay, that's and what they you're all from say. the South, so you know some folk. It, you know, mm-hmm. it's not just Haitian people that do that. And right. All of us do not do that. Okay. So, no, I did not. Oh, oh. All right. I just let people go. If I don't want to be with you no you more, I'm not going like, to be with you. You never put water in a sir, bottle and sir, put a name in it and froze Mr. it. Mr. Leonard. What, what do you know about that? Like, Mr. That, that Leonard. sounds personal. Leonard. <laughs> hey, I'm all Mr. for black magic, baby. Mr. L- your pardon? I'm all for black magic. I'm not. I'm with it. All right. Well, let's let's open up the phone line. Should side chicks get beat up? This me and you shut up. I, I Please. This for the ladies. Yo, okay, me and you shut up. Yeah. As and should, you know, and shut, should the guys sh- get beat up as well? Me and Char- Charlamagne and myself, shut up. Just okay. shut up forever. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hey, what's your name? D. Hey, D. Where, where, you, talking call, where you calling from, D? Detroit. Oh, oh Lord. You definitely beating up a side what chick. What up, though? Now, should a side chick get beat up? <laughs> the only time a side chick should be beaten up is if she know the wife or the girlfriend. If, the, uh, if they don't know each other, then half, nine times out of ten, they probably don't even know they the side chick. Then the dude should be getting beat up because he's the one who owed a girl loyalty. Well, what if she knows, she don't know you personally, but she knows that you that he is married or, or has the a situation, yeah. Now, if he's married, then, hey, that's that's the chance she was willing to take. But if, uh, if it's just a boyfriend-girlfriend situation, no. Well, D, I got a question. If it was your sister, like you said, family, hopefully not. But if it was your sister, would you risk the rela- Well, would you risk the relationship with your sister or try to mend it? Would I you want to beat up your sister? Like <laughs> I wouldn't do nothing like that. Well, right. and my sister wouldn't do nothing like that. But if my sister did something like that to mm-hmm. me. Like, eventually, I'll probably make up with her because, I mean, time heals all wounds. But if it's just some random associate or a so-called friend, then F that be. <laughs> mm, okay, thank well, you. She says, too, both of them, the guy and the girl. Lola! What up, no? What, what up? up? Another Detroit. Shout Detroit on the heavy. You talking side yeah. chicks. <laughs> Detroit calling crazy. <laughs> now, you, do side chicks get beat up? You think side chicks should get beat up? No, I don't think side chicks should get beat up. Now, probably back in my twenties, I would agree with that 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 way of thinking. But as a forty-five year old woman, no, because side chicks don't designate themselves. Your man has to designate this woman as a side chick. So be his ass. I, yeah, no, we're she's, not going to fight the women. She's an we're coming for the men. I, I do want to. Yeah, ask you coming for? I want to ask you this question: uh-huh. If you found out that the side chick was uh, eating your man Bunky. Well, no, because I'm not doing it. So, yeah, go ahead, sis. Go off, sis. <laughs> go off, sis. Not the day. No, uh-uh. And I've been on both sides. I've been the woman and I've been the side chick. But a lot of times, side chicks don't even initially know that they're side chicks. 
So, no, we going after the men. Hold on. So, did from you? Here on out. Honest question. Did you know that you were the side chick in that situation? Tell the truth. No, not initially. I did not. No, not initially. But once I found out, I didn't mind. Damn. Okay. <laughs> you see that? She ain't mine after she what, found wait. out. Wait. Oh, I missed that part. No, she said she ain't mine. Yeah. So you didn't leave him? You but stayed I, with him? It was a long time ago. I was much younger. Okay. All right. Thanks for your honesty. That's crazy that she don't mind uh, her man getting his bunkie eaten. So. Yeah, she said she ain't going to do it. She's not going to do it. So that ain't cheating then. Hello. Who's this? What? <laughs> what? Good morning, family. My name's Chica. Hey, Chica. Good morning. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. You, you think the side chick should get beat up? She sounds like she just got beat up. She, she got <laughs> caught in that man house again, huh? Sheesh. <laughs> no, she needs to ask what, but so does the man, too. It's, so not, it's a two-way. So it's, it's not a one, uh, one-way thing. It's a two-way shoot over here. So you whipping both of them? Absolutely. Man first. Sometimes the woman doesn't know. These days, men don't disclose that they're married. But what if the woman knows? This, in knows? this case, in this, Yeah, in this case, we're saying the woman knows, yes. Oh, no. Ask what, what, what. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. How would you feel if you found out your man was getting his uh, salad toss by another woman? Oh, she... God. oh my God, the disgrace. <laughs> oh, the disgrace. The I what? can't imagine. Please, I don't know. I can't answer that question. Damn, but, all right. But, but she she you, doesn't but, want to think about but it. But do you do it for your man? Because maybe if you, you don't do it so he get it somewhere else. No. Listen, this is American something. is very different. Sister, I apologize for on their behalf for... Because that's an American thing. I Nigerians know. don't do that. I know me with my Caribbean people. She's not going to do it. 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 That's American tradition. Do we don't do that in the Caribbean. She's not going to do it. All right. 800-585-1051. Charlamagne came up with this question. Should side chicks get beat up? I think it's a great question because if you know you're sleeping with another man's husband or boyfriend, then you're an accomplice to adultery. And my homegirl, uh, AJ, salute to AJ, 843 all day, We Talk Back podcast, she says she feel like side chicks should get beat up because it takes two to cheat, so you just as guilty as the man. Hello, who's this? <laughs> hey, it's Zay from Myrtle Beach. 843, hey, what's happening? <laughs> How y'all doing this morning? Good morning. Well, Black and highly favored, sir. We're asking, should a uh, side chick get beat up, bro? Yeah, you sh- we we definitely got to put hands and feet on side. No, 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 not you, not, not you, <laughs> not, not we. you, oh, not we, oh, not okay. me. Oh. Okay, my the main, the main. You shouldn't be calling. Wait, wait, you, you shouldn't be calling right now. This, this is something this, we should sit out, bro. This is for the ladies. <laughs> <bro>. <laughs> like, but I want to know his thought process. I, was just, like, I mean, they get the best of both worlds, so obviously they need to be in every now and then. What's the best of both worlds? They ain't got to worry about the man, like. Worried about them 24-7. How old are you, man? They can do what they want. I'm 24. You're 24 you years young. old. He's so young. Would you ever let a side chick eat your bunky? No, I don't know about that, man. I ain't, <laughs> I ain't with nah, nah, Lizzie, nah. If a side chick says she was, uh, not, a, not a boat, not a boat. Like I'm sure you like, what, the challenger or charger? <laughs> he, he said he don't yeah. want it. All right, so let's <laughs> say the side chick was going to buy you he don't want a it. charger or a challenger. <laughs> Hellcat and eat the boom. Man, that is so stupid. <laughs> he don't want man. it. <laughs> See, I, don't, I, don't, I ain't feeling that. Come on now. She gonna eat, she gonna toss your salad you and give you a Hellcat. Now. Get a Hellcat. Oh, he don't want Hellcat. it. You in Myrtle Beach now. That's going right. down the strip. Hellcat. Ugh. If you don't want to, you don't oh, have baby, to. Like, okay, oh, sir. Oh, you don't oh, have to if you don't want to. Bossing it on this young man. He don't want it. He, he'll take that Hellcat. He don't want it. I just seem so zesty to me. Hey. The Hellcat, like though. <laughs> the Hellcat, though. The Hellcat, though. Sir, sir, if you don't want to, it's all right. It's okay if you that don't want to. tall salad going to last about three, four minutes, have, and you got a Hellcat for life. Nah, Man, you coming nah. down Carolinas with that Hellcat. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to need at least, it's going to have to be at least $100,000 car. You get right. violated like that. They're going to give you the Hellcat with the special package. With the special package. Yeah. The Scat Cat. <laughs> Babe, I can let the side chick eat my booty. My wife's right here. <laughs> <laughs> he about, he about to <laughs> <laughs> let me talk to your wife, yeah, man. Put her on the phone. Let me talk to your wife. Good morning. Good morning. How are you, queen? Good. How are you? Now, your husband called up here this morning, and he asked us. He said, hey, man, should I let this girl uh, toss my salad because she wants to buy me a Hellcat? So he get the Hellcat and, yeah. the, and, the, and the booty eating. What do you think he should do? No, that's nasty. No, thank you. <laughs> he, he said you don't eat the booty. He's so not going for it. <laughs> <laughs> not even for the Hellcat? Clearly. For the Hellcat, babe? <laughs> <laughs> no, y'all know. <laughs> the Hellcat. Well, you find the right bitch and she needs to give me one, too. 
Uh, she said if she can get it too. Oh, okay. All right. All right. So we find a girl to toss both of y'all salad and buy oh, y'all my. matching Hellcats. There you go. We call they gonna get an problems. argument after this. We they call definitely gonna problems. get an argument. Hello, yeah, who's Hellcat. this? It's Hellcat hard for a man. <laughs> Y'all know hard for a man. Twenty four years old. Hellcat baby. Hellcat baby. Yes. Hello, who's this? Hi, it's Camry. Hey, hey Camry. Camry. Oh, man. You think a side chick should get beat up, Camry? Um, yeah, yeah, and no. I'm gonna tell you why I say yes because I'm gonna piggyback off what y'all said. Basically, I feel like women should have more respect for a relationship in general. And, you know, um, if women stuck together, like you said, and was like, hey, he's taken, he's got a family at home, I'm cool on him, I don't want to mess with him, this situation would probably not be happening as often as it does. But then at the same time, I feel like no, because for the woman who's getting cheated on sake, it's like you're lowering your self-worth to even put that energy into another woman like that. I feel like if your man is going to cheat, um, you should just let him go and do what he's got to do. Like, don't even waste your energy on somebody like that. Sis, um, sis can I ask you? And then it's funny you said uh, black men don't cheat because <laughs> that is not true. But what would you going to say? Sis, let me <laughs> ask you. Do you feel like a lot of it is is the weight is always put on the women and we don't put any accountability on the man I feel like a lot of times we always say well women they do this they got to do this and I agree we we should we should not but it's just you just in here telling lies I feel morning. like there's no accountability the help me out sis I need man. some type of witness there's no, no accountability yeah, that's true. I saw a post that said why is it always the person who got wrong that is always pressured to be the bigger person and I felt that because it was like dang I why I got to be the bigger person and I'm the one who got wrong. You know what I'm saying? Yep. I kind of want to, I don't want a Michelle Obama. I don't want to go high with you. Well, low. I want to go low with you because why, why do I have to be the bigger person all the time? Like, well, that side you know, chick went low from time, the back. She, well, I don't mind. No, for real though. But it's just like that energy is not worth it at the end of the day because you're going to fight her and then he's, you're going to take him back or whatever and he's going to go do it again with somebody else. So at the end of the day, it's just best to just cut it off. Don't waste your energy. Don't waste your time. There you go. Don't, you know, you might be, you, you're too beautiful to be fighting with any woman over any man when it's a thousand millions of them out here. You right, there but that's not PSA. entertaining. That's, that's the PSA right Thank there, you, sis. Thank she's, you. She's absolutely right, but that's not entertaining. Would you get your butt licked for a Hellcat? No. <laughs> That's what we talking about. That's what about. you should have asked, That's the fellas. What we but about. taking the taking the highway will usually will get you further. I agree with her. I I agree with her. Don't waste your your time or your energy on somebody who's take not. Take that highway, the new Hellcat. You are gonna get a lot further. That might be the Freaky Friday gonna, question tomorrow. What's that? Would you get your butt licked for a Hellcat? No. <laughs> <laughs> What's the moral of the story? What is? Would How you about look, do right? Would you look at crack for right. Hellcat? The moral <laughs> of the story, <laughs> story is, is this is the moral of the story, look guys. Ass crack for if, Hellcat. No, if you, ass don't, crack for if you don't want to be with somebody, let them go. That's right. Period. Let them go. Most people ain't turning down the boat. And, and if it's a marriage, and they definitely not turning down I, the I will say I am for marriages and covenants. I mm -hmm. love them kind of things. So I, I say try to work it out and, mm -hmm. and try to see if you can make it work. But if you don't want to, if your boyfriend and girlfriend things, you know, and you're not willing to work it out, don't Stitch, waste somebody's time. Stitches, I agree with you. Yes. And you know, black men don't cheat. And but, black women are faithful. Yeah, that's true. But that's very true. But there is another option, right? The What's other that? option is sometimes these men aren't cheating. You know, because they're dissatisfied with what's going on at home. They're cheating because they're getting off with boats and Hellcats. And I <laughs> See, think, and I, there I, goes the accountability. Do you have to take the boat? Do you have to take the Hellcat? Why can't you just take the vehicle that you have in your parking lot? Do you have to? That sounds <laughs> like being greedy. Just that sounds saying, like being greedy. I'm just saying, I'm Can just saying, you not just drive what you got in your driveway? I'm not Do you have for to him. take the car that was offered to you? It may not be good for you. It might make you sick. It might make you <laughs> sick and your partner sick. Do you have to really take everything that's offered to you? Can you not just say no? Thank you. And All right. the Hellcat is, man. I, 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 you I get, I, you're you're right, though. No. You're right, though, Stitches. You are no, right. Thank you. Can you're we right. try that together? No, thank you. Thank you. No, thank, thank you. Thank you. No, thank you. No, thank, no, you. thank you. Everything right. ain't good for you. You did hear about that that one gentleman we were talking about last week that ate the person's booty. And what got, happened to him? He got a little sick. Okay.
E. coli. <laughs> no, thank you. We got rumors on the way. What are we talking about? <laughs> dumb. That's my head out. What are we talking about, Evie? We are talking about uh, Jay-Z doing something good in the community, how he's raising funds uh, for libraries. A lot of good news today. And um, some more on the way. So All stay right. tuned. Okay. We'll get into that next. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.